Hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl jacqueline and in today's video i'm installing my face frontal for the first time and decided to record it okay so if you've not subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button like comment and share okay it goes a long way so i'm beginning with my bald cap method and i have my cornrows very very small and yeah i'm going to cut the ear side of the cup okay so i'm making a hole in that so that you know when i'm applying my glue it won't lift imagine you didn't do this and it's not supported if you apply the glue it can't even stick to your head okay so this is what i was trying to do and i did it for the other side luckily it was cool but I know I'm looking, my head looks like an egg right now, but you know, it's nothing serious. Okay. So, yeah, let's watch that. So, now I'm applying my ghost bond glue to the um, perimeter of my head, like just the front part, my edges. I'm not applying it on my edges, but then the way my hairline is, the hair is going in, you know, different positions. So I ended up still gluing some part of my hair down, but that's not an issue. And I went to blow dry it off camera because I didn't have the blow dryer near me, a socket near me. So this is how it looks clear. And you know, it's good. So yeah, I was about to cut off the um cap and hopefully it doesn't lift and it didn't so that's it just shaping the rest the parts sticking out and stuff like that so when i did it it lifted kind of like a little bit i'm going ahead with my foundation to try and blend it with my skin tone and you know shape it as i go So I'm using my setting powder, finishing powder to, you know, get the desired color I want. Yep. So I'm just doing the front part because I don't want to apply makeup all over my hair. And I'll do the middle part too, where my pattern is going to be. So yeah, that's how it's looking. It's not that good, but it's okay. Yeah, this hair I'm using, I didn't really like this hair because I could see a lot of flyaways and stuff like that. But then I went ahead to pre pluck a little bit when it came and the lace is kind of like not that white. It's cool. And I was feeling it a little, not really, but you know, we'll fix it like that. So. Um, this is how it looks in my head. I like the color. I didn't have to bleach anything or something. I just fixed it like that. So this is how the hairline is looking. And that day I had to fix it. You know, glue it down again. It also stick out through my cap. And I applied some foundation after. Yep. So it's okay now. And... So oh, it's time to you know begin the install. Mm -hmm. I like the way it was looking already, trying to fix it on my hairline. So just you know push the lace back after this. But I had to clip off the hair so that and get some you know it won't be in my face like that so i lifted the lace back and i'm about to you know apply some glue again some ghost bond glue So 
so yeah this is the first layer and i'm just going to you know spread it out so that the lace can fit on it perfectly that's how it is and i went to blow dry it was all clear that's when you know it's good so i'm going ahead with my second layer of glue then i'll blow dry it the same way as the first for it to be clear before you know i can apply my lace So it's all done and it's time to apply the lace and I'm going to do it in sections so I cut the lace in like three parts okay so that I glue it um, one after the other so I started with this side and I just comb through with a comb so that it sticks on the glue the lace sticks on the glue if you get what I'm saying yeah so i tried for the other side but it just wasn't sticking i had to apply another glue layer of glue i think it's because i didn't um put alcohol on my edges like before starting but that gave me a lot of breakouts so like on my forehead as you can see and i didn't want to do that again so i just had to manage finally um i think i got it to stick and i was just pressing it down and i laid it with the scalp so i could blow dry it again for it to be perfect and i'm just combing the hair i just like combing i don't know why but then i'll just combing it yeah so this is how the hair looks and it's 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 nice it's nice mm-hmm so i went ahead to blow dry the hair and this is the part that made me so angry like i didn't realize it wasn't focusing and i'm just cutting the lace in a like zigzag motion if you can tell so guys can you believe when i was cutting the lace um it wasn't focused so like i didn't get the whole footage i'm very very sorry guys but trying everybody so these ends refuse to get stuck. Now let me do the voiceover. So I'm just combing through just to make sure it's perfectly, you know, fitted on. And this side just had to go ahead with the whole process and make sure it's stuck. Yep. So you see the lace, like it's undetectable and the motion i mean the zigzag where i cut the lace i don't know where you can actually tell just that it's not that visible and i like that for this lace mm -hmm. so yeah we're going ahead with the baby hair so i'm just combing that out and separating it from the other hair I don't know want a lot of baby hairs just a little so yeah just going to scuff it out and blow dry again because them lace and glue they were not bonding so yeah i'm back and it's quite okay now and for that white cup sticking out i just would have used foundation after or not no foundation a powder after i actually forgot to so <laughs> so i'm cutting the baby hairs the length i want them and yeah this is what i was about to work with so actually this was a struggle like i had um you know what causes it to lift right so i was scared because i used the mousse to 
you know try to lay down my edges and i couldn't really go big because i felt it would lift up the lace will lift up and stuff like that so i really had a hard time i had to you know cut this whole part off and i even went for a brush instead but still so i finally found a way out yep i decided to use um echo styler after not the most but i didn't apply it on the lace just the end like on my skin okay then i went ahead to lay my edges i just cut them a little shorter so i could lay them well if you understand what i'm saying so that's how i was doing it and i liked it like i was just liking this part of it so yeah watch the video so yeah i'm just perfecting it with the comb and they turned out good they turned out good the other side too was fine i was just cutting it to my preferred choice and mm -hmm, just combing through it too so to make it look like stiff stiff so that's how it's looking did you see the other side I was just in love with it. I think that's the most like important part of laying your lace. How your ends your edges look that was just fire like bomb. It was so cute. So I was really happy with myself, you know, for that. I decided to use um, my finishing powder to, you know, blend my lace. But then I didn't like the outcome. I should have just left it like that. If you can tell, the lace was not detectable. So I actually left it like that and scalped it down again. And I had to do stuff other stuff so as i this time i was just i'd already straightened the hair though but i just wanted to straighten it again so the straightener was already you know um hot and i just decided to do show you guys the method i was using the chase method so that's how come you you know as you comb through you are straightening it that's how it's done So this is the finished look and I was so in love with this hair. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and success. Don't forget to subscribe.